Good afternoon, gardening fans. It's, uh, well, let's see, it's the 3rd. It's August 3rd, Wednesday, August 3rd, uh, about noon. Battery is critically low, so we'll see how far this goes. Um, give you a little drive-by. Been a while since I gave you an update. Been working on all the other projects. There's the broom corn. Moving over, there's the beans. I had two, I had one bean plant that was way up at the top there, it's kind of come down. I think that may be the grasshopper at work. Uh, there's the broom corn and the bean plants. Here is the sweet corn, doing nicely. There's the tomato plant, for those that are interested. Uh, working on a project, and I'll just say, uh, for that project all I'm doing is pulling uh, some leaves off the bottom of the tomato plant. Uh, that's it for upstairs before I get all the way downstairs. Here's a, a flower that's popped up. It's been growing for months, um, but what it was was there was a pot. Uh, let me kind of work my way downstairs. There was a pot. There was a series of pots down here, and one in one of them the uh, plant was dead, so I just sprinkled some really old seeds in there, just all my old seeds. And so that's what this pot is here. And apparently one of them was a zinnia, I think. I think that's a zinnia, and it grew really tall. I mean, that's a good six feet tall to the flower. So um, maybe it was just sort of a freak of nature kind of thing, but uh, beautiful little zinnia. Looks like there's some other flowers that are gonna pop along the plant, so that'll be a nice little addition. Swing around here and give you the small part of the downstairs garden. We've had some losses, mostly squash plants. Here's what things look like here. Let me actually zoom back out here. Oops, back out. And uh, the coyote squash is still surviving, but not looking great. Uh, we've lost some other stuff, but mainly that's what things are kind of looking like along here. Got the baby watermelon down here is doing okay, and the strawberries are doing okay. And then just to give you an idea, the other side, really all I need to do is show you the big plants, there's only one left. So everything else has died over in that corner. I don't know what's going on with that, but that's where we are. Good afternoon. It's Thursday, August 4th. I just want to give you a quickie update. I'll give you a drive-by here. But I did find the reason why my bean plants are getting shorter and ending up with a tiny little stems without leaves. And a reason, if I can zoom in here, look, just as the wind blows. I don't know how well you can see that guy up there, but I have a simple way of dealing with him. Hang on a second. Let's see if we can get this up. Sorry about all the movement. I'm going to switch hands here because it'll be easier. got him off, but I have to ask you guys, what do you do? There's a question. Go ahead and respond. Send me a little feedback. Tell me, what do you do when you see a, an ugly looking grasshopper or whatever the heck that was? I took a still photo. That should be in there. But uh, tell me what you do to get rid of these guys naturally. And now for something a little more positive. Here's the zinnia. Actually, I got to look it up and make sure that actually is the zinnia. And uh, Henry the hornworm is still alive. 
I don't know how long, how much longer I'm going to keep him alive, but he is still alive. Hello, gardening fans. It's uh, Tuesday the 9th, I believe. I'm not sure what time it is. Probably about 3-ish. Um, not a whole lot to report. Just going to give you a little drive-by here, or a walk-by. Um, the corn itself is not looking so wonderful. I keep giving it water. I don't know what else I can do besides water and, and the sun that it's getting. But a lot of the leaves, if I pull back a bit more, a lot of the leaves are just flopping down and um, I don't know that water is the issue or maybe the roots are just have strangling themselves in that tiny little box. So it was an interesting experiment while it went. I'll continue to water it and we'll see if anything at all develops. But uh, you know, who knows, maybe I'll get a miracle like I got with the tomato plant, which Tomato plants looking a little dry, um, but otherwise surviving. No more corn worms, as far as I can tell. Um, although Henry, which uh, I'll eventually uh, be putting together some kind of little documentary on some of the stuff I was doing with Henry the hornworm. Um, but uh, he got loose last night. I don't know if Smokey got him or if it was just the wind that blew it, up, blew his container over. Um, it wasn't a really heavy container. So, I don't know what happened with that, but I don't think he climbed up into the plant. I seriously doubt that. Anyway, that's it for upstairs. Uh, I do have one interesting little... The zinnia is doing quite well. I pretty much confirmed that this does look like it's a zinnia. It's just a really, really tall zinnia. Um, and I'll try and get a good still picture for this. And then, there's the big old squash plant. Still living, though some of the leaves are kind of showing some yellow. Um, I don't know when I take off on, on a trip next week uh, how well these are going to get watered, but uh, they're looking pretty good right now. I don't know. Mo a lot of the other squash plants have died, I think, just in the excessive heat. So, we'll see. It was fun while it lasted. Uh, if I'm lucky, I'll get something off this plant. A little note on the uh, trees that are up here. We've got the one, I don't know, sort of evergreenish one. And then we've got the other one behind it, which was uh, supposed to be like a flowering tree. Um, was given to me by a friend. Uh, the seeds were given to me by a friend. I planted them. They didn't seem to be doing much, but it seems like in the last couple of weeks it's actually, it's actually been kind of coming up, and it may be because I've got that, what looks like a dandelion. Let me see if I can come back around. Kind of like a dandelion. Um, well, here, let's see. If I can get you in close enough. You can actually see the, uh, I don't know if you were able to see that, the soft white kind of stuff that you get from a dandelion. Anyway, there's another, there's a dandelion in that pot, and so I don't know if that's playing into it. Okay, so my phone rang, and now it's a little more than an hour later. Uh, that's business when you're self-employed. So this is what we've got over on this end. Give you a good idea. Let me just make it a little higher. And that's what we've got, folks. It's Sunday, August 14th at 02.15ish. Uh, I haven't done much for updates, but let's see. Actually, all right, well, a few days ago, uh, I was headed out somewhere, and I just happened to look over the wall, and this one plant just mysteriously just started to wilt. Um, I've been trying really hard to give it a lot of water. Uh, I don't know what happened. but uh, So that's pretty much everything on this patio is dead, so I'm going to clean it up today. And then we have this side of the patio. Well, we've got the shelf. Things are mostly still alive. Although I think we've got another squash plant that we've mostly lost. Um, so I don't know what to say on that. Um, I'm wondering if it's because we've actually had humidity that the squash plants are dying. Uh, and I'm going on vacation, so I don't know what's going to happen. Um, we die. have got some pots down here which have collected the stuff that's died. And we've got the um, coyote squash kind of up, coming up and around. And there's a little something interesting that's happened. I don't know how well you can see it, but I'll go inside and show you from the other side. So there we are, folks. This is what that looks like. And you can see how it's actually attached itself to the screen. The screen doesn't get up and off that, all that often, so... That's what's happened now. Now I'm going to have to separate it from the screen so I can actually get out there and clean things up. But that's it for today. Okay, I know I just said that was it for today, but here's a little follow-up. I uh, came out and uh, built a lattice to 
which you can kind of see, it's built just out of the little bamboo sticks. And I got a couple of things trained along. And we'll see if we do a little bit of recovery.